what's up everybody and welcome to the channel update slash member video for june 2024 so if you haven't been a member or you're not currently one the way i typically do these videos is i usually record i give shout outs to all the current members which i am still going to be doing but we're going to do that on the later half of this video and then from there i kind of go into how streams are going any potentially personal stuff if, if i'm feeling like sharing it and then any future plans for the stream so that's what we're doing but this time it's going to be exclusive to members for like the first two weeks and then this will be published around the beginning of july for everyone else because at that point that's when things start kicking off and uh i've got a few things to talk about so might as well just jump right into it um so far everything's pretty going going well for me um we just or i just got back from a vacation with some family and stuff uh, in ocean city new jersey so that was kind of nice went to the shore but now we're hitting the ground running uh one of the things that i'm trying to do is more morning stream uh first thing i want to kind of say in this official video is Right now, I've really been streaming like 5.30 p.m. Eastern for most days throughout the week. And then, of course, weekends, I do morning streams, midday streams, and occasionally an evening stream. I'm trying to add in morning streams for pretty much Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and sometimes Fridays. Uh, of course, I'll still do them on the weekends as long as things aren't like nothing's going on. But... That's the plan. Uh, I've been going live for the last two days. It's been working out. Going live at like 7.30 a.m. Eastern uh, for about two-ish hours. Two and a half is probably like pushing it, but two-ish hours I think is like a perfect amount of time. That's what I, I, I've been doing and so far it's it's been enjoyable. The reason I kind of want to do this is because there's not as many channels on during those those time slots a lot of streamers and like the kingmaker times are like 12 p.m eastern 1 p.m eastern like between then then it drops it goes it drops down until like 4 p.m ish and then it picks up and it's like by the times that i'm currently streaming in the evenings are the times where everybody is streaming because of course that's when a lot of people at least in the u.s that's when a lot of people start getting off work on the east coast then pushing in through like a few more hours people get off mid like the midwestern area of the u.s and then uh 9 p.m by that point like the west coast is um but then viewers start dropping because people on the east coast start going to sleep anyways that's why we're kind of starting to do more mornings plus it's honestly been pretty nice. Like I'm waking up earlier than I usually do and going live like first thing and playing some games before I, I do anything else is kind of nice. So it's it's been chill so far. Next thing. Um, so we're starting to add in some variety again. We wrapped up the playthrough of Fallout. I am still going to do 76. I'm still going to do probably videos of it. Or if there's like a big update or something, uh, I'll jump back into a live stream. But honestly, if you've been following since or you joined when the Fallout stuff started happening, I we've gone through three, New Vegas, four, and now 76. There's still tons of content and stuff for me to do in 76, but I'm at the point where I'm ready to go into more games. I'm ready to replay other games and I'm ready to do more variety again. And that brings us to why we're on this page right here. Right now, I mean, just this last week, uh, Summer Games Fest happened and tons of sequels of games are coming. Tons of updates for games and all sorts of stuff um just going down to like july right so that's when this video is going to be published for pretty much everybody you go down to july here you can see first thing dawn trail first ascendant once human which uh, definitely a game i'm going to be live streaming 
so many things coming out and a lot of them i'll probably mention or say like what what i do plan on doing um but there's a lot of games right and a lot of these i haven't played in so long like for instance uh or, or i've never played them at all for instance the first ascendant that's i think the one of the most highly wishlisted games right now on steam we're gonna check it out see how it is uh once human that is now my most watched and highest viewed video on youtube for doing a uh, video series so we're definitely going to be jumping into that day one on uh, on release on stream most likely too now with all these sequels and games coming out what i want to do is not everything's going to work fallout was great for a while fallout was a lot of fun for a decent amount of time but the thing is, the thing what I enjoyed the most about it is not only was I really into Fallout, but the community and chat and everybody that had been joining the streams were into it too. TikTok was into it, YouTube, like it was doing good on all. And that's what was a lot of fun. Now, if I play a game and I enjoy it myself, if there's nobody interacting, there's m nobody chatting, there's nobody like, you know, having as much fun as I am, it kind of takes away from how much fun I'm actually having. So I'd rather take the time. And I, I'm, what I'm trying to say is the games that I play, I want to make sure that I'm playing stuff that not only I'm enjoying, but chat is enjoying and it's doing well. There's like a, a triangle um, that Co Carnage specifically uh, he's a streamer that I personally watch. Him and Lyric are probably the two biggest streamers I watch. Um, but he had an interview recently where he talked about uh, pretty much that. Finding the time to find playing a game that you enjoy, playing a game that the community enjoys, and playing at the right time where you can get the most uh, influence or discoverability from it. So for me... What I'm trying to do going forward is if I play a game on stream and say the second or third stream, things are kind of just not looking great. If it's not doing well on YouTube, it's not doing well on TikTok. It's not like one of, if it's doing well on one of those areas and I'm still enjoying it, then I will continue playing it. If it's kind of flatlined, on all those areas, new people on Twitch aren't joining, new people from TikTok isn't joining, YouTube is kind of just sitting there, then obviously that's not something that people want to watch. Although it may be something that I want to play, I'd rather take the little limited time that I have to play games that you guys enjoy. So that's why I've been recently pushing a lot for pretty much any video that I put out if you enjoy it. Watching it on YouTube, number one, is the biggest thing that helps me the most. Completely free to do. But also, likes do make such a difference. Because that pushes that video out to more people that might enjoy the channel. That's what happened with Once Human. That's what happened with Fallout. That's what happened with uh, my Hitman series played. My GTA played. My Crime Boss played. So, I know as a viewer... It doesn't like you hear it all the time, but that's why creators say it so much because it does make a huge difference. So yeah, that's that's gonna be the kind of what what I'm doing going forward. I mean, we're 50 percent through the year, so things could always change, and maybe I'll do like one of these videos every like three months and make it public. Um, we'll see, but going into that a little bit in more in in depth so i have a list of games that i want to play um and i'll just name off a few from that i have written down right now like first descendant we talked about once human cross prong 2 squirrel with a gun then it goes into star wars outlaws in august that i'm looking forward to then stalker 2 in september space marine 2 God of War Ragnarok on PC in September 19th. 
the Starship Starship Troopers game is going into 1.0 in October. Life is Strange, new game. Black Ops 6 in October. Assassin's Creed in November. And then Microsoft Flight Sim in November too. So a few of those, you know, uh, have sequels or games or are sequels. I mean, so for instance, Space Marine 2, Life is Strange, Black Ops, Assassin's Creed. My goal is to, if there's time to play some of the prequels or not the prequels, but the games that came before them. I've never played Space Marine uh, before, so sometime in the near future, my hope is to start a playthrough before July. My my goal isn't to play these before, like right before the sequel is released, but enough time so that way, like not only I don't get burnt out for like playing it back to back, but playing it early enough so that way people are like, oh, I want I haven't played this game in forever. Let me see if there's a playthrough on YouTube of it. Well, there you go. Like that would be a perfect like refresher on on the game before the new one comes out. Same thing with Life is Strange. I played the first one initially, never played the second. I never played the uh, the spin-offs. I never played any anything after. So that's kind of another reason why I want to do this whole like streaming in the morning to get a little bit extra content out but also doing the, if streams are doing well, we will continue the series playthrough because there's a lot to play and there's never going to be enough to play at all. Of course, I understand that, I know that, but I always do the best. As long as, as, long as I'm having fun, I will continue playing them and keep it going. I, I'm not the type of person either to be able to stick to one game forever that's like difficult. I can, I can barely do it sometimes. And I'm surprised I even able was able to with uh what's Fallout. Like typically I get burnt out so easily of games, but something about Fallout, I don't know. By the time I was done with each one though, I was ready to move on to the next game. Um and that's kind of where I, I landed with 76 too. But I'm still interested, like I still want to do videos on it, and I still want to maybe jump in here and there. But yeah, another, like, just going back to that, the sequel stuff, we got Black Ops. I wasn't going to play Black Ops 6, not going to lie. Since it's coming come to Game Pass, I am going to check it out. And because I'm going to be checking it out now, I think we're going to do a campaign playthrough of all of them, starting with Black Ops 1, 2, 3, I think has one. I forget. I think it's like 4 that becomes the weird one. And then, or it's the opposite. Um, and then you have like Cold War, which I never played before too. So that's the, uh, the plan. If there's time, I want to try to do these playthroughs beforehand. And if there's not, then it is what it is. I mean, we can always go back to... I always love playing the new next thing of like a series or a franchise that is out. Like obviously Star Wars I'm excited for. Looks pretty good. I mean there's there's still so many more games out there too. Uh Dragon Age is supposedly coming this year. We don't have it a date yet, but I, I definitely want to uh play at least Inquisition before then. I am ideally if I can play Dragon Age Origins, then Dragon Age 2, and then Inquisition before uh, Veilguard releases, definitely I will do so. Um, and that's one of the series where, you know how earlier I was saying how if a game's not doing well and chat's not enjoying it, then I'm, I'm gonna kind of move on. There's certain, certain things where if I care that much about it, it's, it's me time. It's, it's what I enjoy. And that's one thing I'm always going to try to keep as we continue to grow, because there are going to be times where I want to play a game, but the community is not really enjoying it. So it's like, all right, well, I'm going to spend more time 
playing something that I enjoy, but then they will too. And then you kind of honestly move on from the last one because then it's, it's just more enjoyable overall. Um, so obviously very, very first world problems, but I can't say thank you enough for all the support that we have been getting. Um, it's, it's been kind of crazy recently. Every penny that I make from my streams too, as of right now, have been going into a savings account from not only uh, my, my streams, but then also YouTube revenue and like literally anything that I make right now just goes into saving. Um, and then I can pull it from it if I need to, but right now I still have. So it's it, it's been good. This year has been amazing. We're halfway through. We just hit uh, 12,000 subscribers. We're close to, we're like halfway to 13,000 already. So things have been growing and it, it's cool to see. Um, especially like looking back and I have videos that are like four years old and have like a max of like 50 views. And then here we are today in like 2024 and some of my videos match that too. But then other ones that, that resonate with somebody or take off feels really good. And I feel like we got a good community um, for the people that do come around every day. I know there's a lot of people that watch, never say a single thing. And if you're one of those people, I appreciate you too. Because not only are you just kind of chilling, doing your own thing, but you're not, you know, being uh, an online jerk like some people can be. But that's that's cool. And I, I think that's there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Most of the people I watch, I never comment. I don't even chat. It, it all depends. Sometimes I do. I, I've been trying to be more uh engaging because I, I know it's it's more meaningful when you have somebody that's like kind and chatting with you rather than somebody who doesn't so um sometimes it, it depends but that's uh that's kind of all the stream plans i do have one more thing that i'm gonna talk about and then we'll go on to the membership aspect of this video um so and this is kind of like it since it's going to be public for anybody to watch it's kind of how this goes i just ramble uh sometimes i have notes sometimes i just talk about like what i'm thinking um and similar to like a live stream but instead i'm literally sitting here chatting and listening to some music so uh the next thing though was i i put out a poll last night like last second about do you play board games and or card games? And to my surprise, I was expecting it to be like 95% like no and like 5% yes. Let me see what it's at right now. But it was it was actually really surprising. During this video, at the time of recording this, with 41 votes, we've got 73% say yes. 27% say no. I was expecting like 5% to say yes and like 95% say no. So, um, and this is all just completely, nothing's confirmed. I'm not saying I'm going to do anything, but the channels cast this plays, right? Who's to say that that's just video game? Uh, since 2020, I've built up a ton of board games when we are locked in inside with family and stuff almost every day we are either playing a new board game or playing uh, an old one that I fell in love with whether it was card games deck builders anything and everything so I have a lot of games and I haven't really been playing as much anymore but that's something I would be interesting in doing in the future potentially now I don't really have a group of friends I'd be able to play on stream with or on video format just at the moment. But down the line, potentially, maybe we'll see um, if I can get anybody on board. I play with family, but I don't really want to put them in a, you know, in a video and stuff. So unless if they like were really into it. Um, on top of that, though, I've been uh, looking into magic. 
Magic the Gathering a little bit more. And of course, Magic the Gathering is as big as it is. Um, I did have, and I've had some like older Magic cards and stuff. And I have bought like some course sets back in like 2021. Um, but I just recently, one day, I, I was watching Shroud. I've also been watching Pay Money Wubby. Uh, he does a lot of pack openings and stuff of like alpha decks, like the original, like first created ever decks. And um, I don't know. I was like, you know what? I want to try this. I've been playing a little bit of Magic Arena off stream. Uh, I also looked into some commander decks, bought my very first one. I also bought a little bit of uh, a booster set for the um there was like a Baldur's gate one that was kind of cool that i just got because it was kind of on sale and i figured why not check this out and then what really s spiked it is they're doing an assassin's creed crossover with magic the gathering and assassin's creed i love assassin's creed for those of you that don't know I might, well, side little thing. Both of my arms are covered in tattoos, but um, my right arm has, and the, I have tribal and stuff. One section, you can see an Assassin's Creed logo. And it's hidden in there very well. You would never know otherwise. Um, but yeah, that's that. I don't know if that doesn't tell you. I'm a big Assassin's Creed fan. I don't know what, what will. So, uh, of course, I'm going to have to check those out. And I think rather than me just collecting these or building my own commander decks, I'm going to do a test trial. I'm going to see what it's like recording the video of opening these, seeing what kind of cards we get. Just not as a professional or anything. I'm not going to be like that type of guy that like, all right, common, 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 common. All right, what's the good stuff we got? All right. Here we go. Uh, here's the rare. Okay, cool. We got mythic. Oh, right, cool. Whatever. You know what? Move on to the next. I'm going to slowly like appreciate it. Like be like, oh, that looks pretty sick. Okay. That's what the card does. Interesting. Cool. Move on to the next one. I'm sure like as I get more into it, it'll kind of come um, a better understanding. But I'm, I'm definitely early on. I know how to play magic like arena mode. But I've never played with a commander deck. That's something I'm, I'm trying to move towards and, and get into and see. And then that's why I brought up all the board game stuff because down the line, if that does well, or if there's like a, uh, a time where I have a bunch of people, hey, let's go do a video on playing this board game. Hey, let's go do a stream on playing this thing. Why don't we do this? Cool. I'm totally up for it. I'm totally down. I would love to do that kind of stuff too, to be honest. So it's not just video games. It's just obviously time. Time is the, the biggest thing is figuring out when do you play board games? When do you play video games? When do you do a stream? When do you record? That's the biggest thing. So just throwing it out there. Nothing confirmed about that. Just absolutely saying, uh, cause it, it I might try it on my main channel and if it's like flops or people are like why not make a second channel for this then okay make a second channel but um but yeah i guess we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens um so we're gonna move into the the uh the member aspect so if you are a member or are interested in becoming a member you get like exclusive uh, emotes. You also get like a little badge whenever you're in the live stream or if you ever leave a comment, anything at all, like literally any interaction on, on YouTube helps um, as usual. But we also get to go to the member area on the, uh, the, the board. So here you can see right now, all the members that we currently have and going by that, we've got Code Blue Paradox with a total one member, one month member. Appreciate it. Sub Davis. Davis has been a while, around for a good bit now. 
three months as a member. Brian, again, another member. Thank you very much. Friendly homie. <laughs> I almost said, I said Homer the first time for that one. Thank you for the one month. CJ, thank you for the two months. Appreciate it. Evan, another two months. Pat, been around for a bit now. It's funny, there's a few Pats in the community too. 10 months, and I see him every once in a while jumping into Discord or jumping into the uh, chat, jumping into. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> jumping into uh, leaving a comment and everything. So thank you very much. All right. Had to clear my throat for a second there. But Super Baby Death with the five months. Thank you very much. We got Bells is a uh, one of our mods on TikTok. Well, honestly, mods on everywhere. Eight months. Thank you. Comma Defiance, 11 months. Tobias, the 47 Reaper with 12 months. A whole year. I'm a Gremlin with 17 months. And then my boy Patrick with 27 months. But yeah, there's all of, uh, all of the members right now. Again, any new members really helps out. I mean, I make it as cheap as possible I can for YouTube. So that way you guys can choose whatever, whatever tier you want. Doesn't matter to me, anything at all really helps out because if we have a hundred people that are bronze we have a hundred people that 10 people that are gold five people that are silver it does not matter because you're still at the end of the day you're taking it a step further rather than not just watching content but also supporting me in the simplest way possible um or just you know working up some cash to, to help so i appreciate it thank you very much can't say that enough um and if you're a, a sub I, I wish there was a way for me to kind of do the same exact thing for twitch is what i we've got more subs on twitch than on youtube but twitch does not have a way to do that the only thing that they have for twitch is uh the, the only thing that they really have is is really just subscriber streams i mean you do get ad free streams so that's probably the biggest re reason people have like our sub on channels but hey to be honest even if you don't want to sub to me go sub to twitch turbo instead because you'll be able to watch any stream without watching any ads and on top of that while having twitch turbo you still the creator that you're watching still gets some revenue from twitch turbo so i uh, i never blame anybody for doing that too because i have i am subbed to like two channels but then i also Turbo. So, yeah. Um, I think that's a good way to call this one. Thirty-minute video, a little bit longer than I want it to be, but hey, if you care this much and you wanted to hang out this long, or you're just like doing some work and you wanted to throw something on in the background, I do the same exact thing. Totally relate to that. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. If you guys have any comments, anything at all, feel free to throw it in. Let me know your thoughts on any of these plans, uh, comments, concerns, questions. Feel free to throw it in there. Join the Discord if you haven't already. Um, you can set up announcements for any time I go live on Twitch or YouTube. That way you get that notification. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it. We got a lot of games to play. Got not enough time. Uh, but I will do my very best and I hope you all enjoy it while we uh, continue on this this content creator slash YouTube gaming journey. So thank you all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.